Alright, welcome back to episode 10 students and in this episode we're going to do the largest and the smallest calculation as well as a sum if and a count. So, question. Make use of the appropriate spreadsheet function to determine the second largest sales price and then go and determine the smallest sales price. So what we're going to do is we're going to Excel here, the second largest the smallest. And for this one, we are going to use a function. We're going to click on insert function and we're going to search for the large formula. Right, then we get it. And there's two conditions array and k. Array means what, what is the range that you are looking for. We are looking for the sales prices, right? And we want to determine the second largest sales price. As simple as that. Click OK, and there's my answer. And if we look at our answers, largest, second largest, the largest one is 11 million. Second to that would be 3 million, third to that would be 2.5, and so forth. Smallest number is so we're going to click on insert and we're going to click small again. What is your range? The sales prices, all right? And you want to determine the smallest one, so, so number one, the smallest one, and the smallest one is zero. Okay, and that's good. So that was simple. Next question, calculate what the sum will be of homes if a home comes with the garden. And the next question, the last one, count the number of sales prices if they are less than 1.1 million. So in this case, it's a sum if, and in this case, it's a count if. So let's go. is going to be if it has a garden. So let's we have a garage, no garage, no garage, garage, no garage, garden, garden. So it's these two. We need to sum them together based on this. So put our cursor in the gray cell. We are going to we want to determine the sum if. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for it. We're going to click on insert function and we're going to search for sum if we can go and find the sum if for me all right so it's asking us for three different things it's asking us for a range a criteria a range of criteria and a sum range so what is my range my range is Based on this is my range. Okay, my criteria is usually based on the range that I see. So what about this range do I need to go and calculate? You need to go and calculate the gardens. Thank you. Alright, what is my sum range? Okay, based on what do I need to sum together? Range is this is my criteria basically. My criteria, but it's my range. Your criteria is what about the range do I need to look for? Do I need to focus on? We need to focus on the garden. Alright, now what do I need to calculate to give you the answer based on that criteria? You need to please calculate these amounts. So once you have that information, click OK, and there's your answer. Now we're going to do the next one. Count the number of sales prices if they are less than 1.1 million. Only go and count the ones that are less than 1 million. So 
other words, that would imply is this one and this one. Those are the only two that are less than one. Everything else is more than one. It's either 1.1 1 .1 or more. So, insert function, count if. My range this is my range what about it is important only the ones that are less than one one zero 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 So for this one, I'm going to select all my monetary values. I'm going to select this information, this information, this information, this information. Show the formula and then episode 12 